So we're just getting ready for the 45 day talk show today. We're just waiting for 45 degrees to finish. I think they've finished. Let me just try and grab something. Okay, I think we're good. All right, let us see where we are. Hold on a second. Let's raid now. And here we go. So it is 45 day 2021. It's the second year this is happening. And well, to say I'm buzzing and to say this has gone crazy is, is an understatement. So last year, I managed to put together uh, DJs from around the world and we had 52 mixes. We had a two hour live 45 live show and we also had a live stream from breaking bread this year i sent out a load of emails didn't know how many would come back people seem to be into the idea so far i think there is 135 mixes on the mixed cloud and we're on the live stream at the moment we're uh, what, four or five hours in we've had great sets from mrock jp in japan dj magnificent uh, the Sunday Get Down Boys, we couldn't quite get the video to work, but we're working behind the scenes and hopefully that will be played later today. Uh, in addition, we've had uh, DJ JS, a 45 kid with Mr. Lob in Australia. We've just had the wonderful 45 degrees from Hamburg. And now we're just going to take a little a little break from the music. Um, there's tons of great DJs who've been part of this and, and I've got a, a number of special guests with me today. We're going to talk to and we're going to talk a little bit about them as DJs. Uh, and they've all selected a 45 to play. So we're going to see what they come up with and uh, hopefully we'll have some cool stories. So uh, let us see what's happening. Uh, right. So who have we got first? Let's, uh, let's say hello to Mark, first of all. Hey, how are you doing, Chris? I'm good. How are you doing today, Mark? I'm good. I just woke up. I had a long night. <laughs> Motown on Mondays in Los Angeles, the James Brown stream. And now it's 45th day. It is, yeah. And now you've been part of this from the start. I think you were probably one of the first DJs to contribute a mix last year. And, you know, thank you for the support. And, you know, you've done another amazing mix this year and you're, you've done a load of great sets for the 45 Kings and, and you're playing later. Um, what can we, you did an 80s. Uh, set for the the mix. What what can we expect from your set later on today? Oh, different one. <laughs> yeah, it goes more into the like, like deep breaks and a little bit classic hip hop and, and scratching and then back spinning or rigid breaks. I don't know, like like a but more uh, more down tempo and uh, no not disco or anything like that. It's a totally different than a forty five day totally mix. Cool. Well, that's good. And that's the whole point, isn't it? We've got 45 crates and especially you've got deep crates. So each, each set you do is, is completely different. Uh, right. I'm going to bring in your German compatriot, Robert Smith. How you doing, man? Hey, what up? How you doing? I'm good, mate. So uh, again, a, a killer set for 45 day mix. What have you got lined up for later today? Uh, it's um, more jazz, good vibes, uh, so full, and uh, later on um, some some more routines. Uh, I already have played uh, in our last show of High Score uh, together with Funky Chef, and I was like, uh, I have to bring it again in, in one mix and not only three records in a row, and then the next DJ comes, so it's going to be a replay set from what I did before, but I think uh, not so many people have seen that. Yes, I think I was. I think we, I was talking to Mark about trying to get a way to host it somewhere on the internet to avoid the sort of copyright issues. And um, yeah, I've suggested a possible idea, so it was, hopefully that'll work. So, for anyone who hasn't seen High School, what's the concept between behind that? Uh, high score is actually like a, uh, yeah, it's it, it's more like a DJ jam session, I would say. Each one is uh, playing three records in a row, and uh, the original idea behind it was like uh, we're playing, we we getting cozy, we're getting playing our favorite records in a mix. The next one DJ comes right after, but uh, in our first show we had such a um, high score routine, and uh, all of, of our four players, Mark Hype, Funky Chef, DJ Irie, and me, we prepared. Uh, 
um, the crazy, crazy routines. So each round we played uh, was was super, super high end turntablism, uh, DJ vinyl nerdery, and uh, there was uh, a lot of fun. Um, but hell yeah, um, actually. Each and every time it's going to be another uh, round and, and you can take it slow, but like it's all about the records, of course it is, and uh, to, to vibe out a bit together. That's great, man. Um, I'm not going to leave her last because she was last earlier, so we're going to move to uh, what well, should have been ladies first, DJ D over in Australia. How's it going, what up, D? What up? Very good. It's PM here. We are heading towards midnight in, in a little while, but we're doing all right. It's getting chilly down this way too. It's, it's chilly here. It's supposed to be spring, but it's, yeah. it's chilly in the UK. It's a bit What's sunny. What's going on? Global warming. I think so. <laughs> I think you're right there. Thank you for so, having um, me on, by the way. Absolutely honoured to be part of this. Oh, no, of course, of course. You know, you, 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 you've killed it on the 45 Queens. Um, DJ O, uh, for those who don't know, is, is, is your – how old do you know? Four, five? He's he's four years old. Yeah, he'll be going on five soon. Yeah, yeah. He he killed it on the uh, Forty Five Kids show. He was he was good fun. I'm still recovering from that one hour set. And um, yeah, big congratulations! You, you did really well in the uh, DM season, and oh, now sponsored by Pioneer. Yes, yes. I was very lucky. Um, yep, hit the top 10, made it to that um, finals round. And um, yeah, got sponsored by Pioneer DJ, which is incredible. Um, so it's it's kind of a push in a different direction because, you know, vinyl's always been my first love. So now I'm getting to play a little bit with some of that digital technology, which, I mean, on one tip can be quite different. But on the another tip, you know, you can use these let's call them very loosely old school techniques, uh, you know, in that, in that regard as well. So I'm, I'm having fun with it all, but the vinyl's always still going to be here. It's my first love. And uh, we'll, we'll come back to you later. I think you've got your record decks lined up. We'll, we'll show you a little trick later on. Okay. Where should we go next? Um, should we go to Spain or Wales? Spain. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going around the world, so um, yeah, Funky is in the house. So, what's how you doing now? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm loving your shades. My shades. Can you hear me? Thank okay? you. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Well, you know, my English sucks, man. I always speak in Spanish in the chat. Everybody speaks to me in Spanish, you know. <laughs> right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something, Nello. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can put both of us. Okay. Everyone's here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. Let's try this. Okay. So, so, we can see um, so I, went to a, uh, I went to a charity shop the other day, and uh, I was thinking about the fact that I struggle to obviously understand – you're Spanish because I don't speak Spanish. Yeah. So I found this, which wow, is great. World Foreign Language Record Series Spanish. And then when you open it up, it has a vinyl record. It says Spanish. I don't know if I don't know if you see that. Phrases yeah. for motorists from the RAC. <laughs> That's great, man. And then on the other side, there is one two three three flexi discs general expressions personal needs and time numbers and colors that's great this is something you you know uh, that you don't find these records in spain you buy this record i, I bought a lot of these records being in america being in england or being all over the world like here in spain you can get french and english and German, but you don't find when they speak in Spanish that is what I'm actually looking for. So for me, this is like a nugget, you know, this is gold. <laughs> if I find another one, or well, when I, when I come to Spain, I'll, I'll bring that out for you, man. One, you one day. Man. Come, man. Yeah. All right, let's move to Wales. But remember, Sam, it's 45s today, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 hello. How are we all doing? Yeah, I'm good. How how are you doing, partner? I'm going to use the word. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's good. I thought I better um I better put my Welsh accent on today because we've had German and Spanish, and I better talk like this for the whole show. What do you reckon? Is that better? Can everyone understand you? I'm not sure they can. <laughs> but 
but uh, yeah how, so how's it been i mean obviously you've gone from you know a few viewers to start with maybe a year or so ago and you've gradually built it up and, you, and you've now hit partner i mean how does it feel uh yeah it's mad it's um it's definitely the best thing i've ever done as a dj because I, I dj for a long time but to do it on camera and people actually like what i do is is quite amazing is there a learn welsh uh, 45 kings uh, no because nobody wants to learn welsh you just swap vowels for uh, for stupid letters like y or d <laughs> i'll look out for that one in the charity shops i'm not sure uh, if we will find a, mm, a i doubt it foreign language record series welsh but uh, but you never know. Okay, uh, right. Let's go back to everyone. So I've asked all of you to. Uh, Funky's turned into a mannequin. I oh, know he's there. There he is. He thinks he's Bob Sinclair. <laughs> um, okay. So it, it, it is forty-five days, so I thought it might be fun as a sort of uh, little friendly competition for you all to pick out one forty-five for today um, and see. So. I've, I've got that one. I'm not going to play the other one, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I've got later on. So, um, yeah, let's go back to the top then. So, uh, Mark. Yeah. Is that a beer already? <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, already it's 2 p.m., right? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's time for a beer, true, but I just want to say breakfast time for me right now. <laughs> if, I, if I wasn't running this thing till 3.30, I'd be drinking, but I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to my set this evening and then uh, I'll be drinking during my set later on. Uh, right, Mark. Okay, so um, I'm just going to sort out your, your sound. So, do you want to play? Do you want to kick it off? So, round. So I'll kick it off at my first, the first 45 on a talk show to stay okay yeah i I'm i, I had shows company. like five minutes ago you know <laughs> i was i forgot to show one because it's tough for me to find a 45 in my house you know um yeah it's a filipino funk thing let's see how it goes Yeah, that was wow. that was, <laughs> that was dope. black blackbuster bump to bump i think you can see from the reactions in the uh in the chat that that was just yeah yeah check totally out old man old man by blackbuster 2 that's really good that's yeah. another, another i cheese. bought it from um, lord funk in paris when i was playing at his uh, party um I, I spent all my wage from this gig on 45s at his house <laughs> he, had a, he got a crazy collection look he's uh, doing professional for sale and stuff and yeah and good prices too it's maybe five euro thing so i see robert Thank smith's you. been handed a, is that a, is that a, a shot of rum or whiskey or something yeah of Stop. course no it's a it's a it's a fresh cup of, uh, a fresh espresso Oh, nice. I'm going to need some of those later, I think. Um, that, that was amazing. So is that a quite a rare record, Mark? What do you mean? Is that quite a rare record? I mean, I haven't seen it since. It's, it's a French pressing. That's, that's the point. So it's probably easier to get in France. I haven't seen it in Germany or anywhere else. 
I think it is a Filipino group, but I think they, they did most of their releases in Europe. Like a lot of those, um, we had like what they call they on the argument break some beats with a slice stone yeah. cover. And those guys also like they are living uh, in Hamburg. That's actually a crazy uh, kind of like hip hop family story. That it has it's just two minutes. I have to <laughs> tell you about this Filipino group. No, no, go for um, it. That's what it's about. And then there's you know this is David David Fascia, right? The DMC uh, German DMC world champion from 1991, and he's actually uh, the son of Horst Fascia, who owned the Star Club on a Reeperbahn in Hamburg. And the Star Club was the first club where the Beatles performed. And when wow. when they went back wow. to the UK, they became big. That was they are like one year. Like every night, spinning at the, uh, spinning, uh, <laughs> playing at the, at the Star Club. So and the, the son is David Fasher, and this, David Fasher is actually the son of the of the sister of the main singer for, from uh, P Please. The band is called Please. The Filipino band is also on the Ultimate Breaks and Beats and stuff. So that's like one hip hop triangle <laughs> connection that's happening. Most wow. people don't know. It's just it's just joining the dots, isn't it? From yep, yep, yep. All the way through from the Beatles, you know, the breaks and beats to the DMCs. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> okay. If, uh, if, if you like um, Filipino tunes, check out there's Talu San on uh, yeah. on Twitch. She's got some amazing Filipino records. That's why I know about Blackbuster. It's uh, all from right. her. She she great DJ and plays great tunes, and it's great to. And it's all stuff you don't know because it's all Filipino. It's good. Nice one. Right, Funky, have you got a tune ready for us? Yeah, I got a tune. But I said I will play a super weird tune like the rarest record in my collection. But actually, I'm gonna, I don't gonna do that. I'm gonna play a super commercial song. But I'm not sure if if all the DJs are playing that. So is the B side of uh, Get That Tonight of Casey and the Sun Sun Band? But that, that tune been sampled for like the biggest hip hop tune, one of the biggest hip hop tunes ever. So uh, when you play it here in Spain, everybody go crazy. And it take me a minute to 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 find this record was sampled there and and, and, and all these things. And I just received it; it's new. So I'm gonna play it now, and I'm gonna play it uh, after again. You know, I think everybody okay. needs to listen to this one. I switch right card cancellation. <laughs> As I said, it's, it's a really, it's a normal record, but for me, it's, uh, I mean, in everybody for, from Spain, this beside is like super killer, and I don't see everybody playing this record around. You know, it's a dollar record; you can't find it everywhere. You know, that, that's the B side. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's killer. It's 95, BP, 95 BPM. It's perfect for, for playing with hip hop, with, with uh, everything, you know. And, and it was sampled by SFDK. It's a Spanish hip hop group, one of the bigger. And this sampler, this, this song, in Spain, everybody knows about, about it, but not everybody knows it was Casey and the Sensan Band. And it's a super commercial tune. Get Down Tonight is a classic. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, know, I never played that, that one, but I, fa I found out about this and I was like, man, I mean, this is the, this is the shit. Has, has the Discogs rush started yet for that? Because that's what, <laughs> happened on, uh, that's what happened on Wax on Wednesdays, isn't it? No, it's no. crazy. I mean, Mark, this song is, is like everybody, I mean, not everybody plays this, see? No. I mean, no, not everybody. I mean, I mean, it's commercial. It's easy to find, but uh, it's not like a song you. I, I remember last time I've been in Marula, they play it over there, and, and I was like, "What, man?" <laughs> so, but, but no, it's not like super common, and, and really, I wanted to play it. That's it, <laughs> you know. 
Man, the, the um, Discord crushes are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about the, the show with Z Trip, and he played that crazy yeah. rock version of the Sham. And, uh, and yeah. the song wasn't uh, just half played. And when he finished it half played, all the copies were sold on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I, 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 I had it just about in my car from somewhere in France, and then it was gone. It's it crazy. No, but but then you played... until they, they mentioned what it was, and it was so record. Everybody was on Zam already. Like, I'm like, a chemist by a record while it was on Wax on Wednesday. My work is done. Yeah, yeah. It was the Portishead one, wasn't it? Yeah. It's machine machine gun. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move Sam a little bit because you are the Streamyard duck. Is oh, like sorry, because I'm yeah, yeah, no, animated. No, no, I can't. You move it. a little bit. It looks like you are a duck. That's the best work I've had on Twitch. <laughs> <Duck tweets. laughs> <Duck tweets. laughs> right. Um, don't get offended. I'm going to go to the rose amongst the thorns now. We're going to go for DJ D. Um, okay. So I'm going to solo you out. So you've got a 45. I'm going to put you on yes. echo cancellation. And then. Uh, Thank you. I oh, know. I've got you already off one. Like, okay, cool. All Here right, we let's go. play it. That's, That's right. Such a dope tune. <laughs> why, why do you love it so much? Okay, well, a little bit of history. This is one that I've had since it came out. It came out in 1989. This is the first piece of vinyl that I ever scratched. So for me, it's a sentimental thing. Um, this is where okay. it all started. It was I actually stole it from my sister. <laughs> and I hopped on my brother's turntable and just started messing around with that intro, you know, the stabs and the intro beats. And this is where my love of turntablism really started. Plus, of course, DJ Maceo, my love of sampling. So, um, yeah, it holds a lot of history for me personally. And it kind of is still influencing me today with, you know, what I do. My radio show is all about sampling. It's a journey through time via samples. And, um, yeah, obviously the turntable is DMC thing too. So it's really means a lot to me. And it's, again, it's a, it's a, it's a classic record that you can pick up as, as Mark Lancaster said for, you know, for next to nothing, you know, I think he picks it up for a, a quid for anyone, not in England, that's a pound. So that's, um, I think that's worth about, it's about 50 cents in Europe now, something like that. Oh. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> no, is it one pound worth three euros? I don't know. Wherever we are. What I was just going to say as well is, I mean, the original sample, the lyrics of that original song, Hall & Oates, listen to the lyrics. It's all about, you know, how people are done wrong in the music industry. So it just still holds true today. So it's, you know, on a lot of levels, it's just such a super dope track. That's so cool. Um, brilliant. Okay. Um, in case anyone didn't hear, I, I probably didn't set the rules out for the competition. So it's a friendly competition. We've got five amazing DJs all putting forward 145. And so when we get to the end, we'll just have a, a friendly little chat group and then people can just say who they want. I, I, I haven't, I'm not sophisticated enough to have polls or anything like that. I'll leave that to, to other people. But um, okay, where should we go? We've been to Germany. I'm gonna, Robert, I'm going to leave you last because we've already been to Germany. We're going to head to Wales. So, uh, Stan Beeks, let's do it. Stan <laughs> Beeks, <here. laughs> What have you got for us? In front, is this from which one of the which one of your sheds is this from? First of all, uh, this is actually the first track I'm going to play on the show later for Forty Five Day. Okay. So, as it as it is May the Fourth, I had to go with this. Yeah. Why? Well, what else is happening today? What else is? Oh, it's only a few shows. You know, it's Forty Five Day and all that, and it's Star Wars Day. Cool. Oh, yeah, Star Wars, yeah, yeah. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait 
waiting for it. Yes. So that's all you're going to get from me on that one. Um, tune in later for check out the rest of it. That is that is no. <laughs> you're Sam. That's cheating. That's like six records in one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's me, Mark. I cheat all the time. <laughs> all right. Are you following Vodka's advice? I'm, I'm not looked to the chat actually. Why was Vodka saying the angle is interesting? Yeah, I changed the cameras, Roddy. There you go. Just for you. It's the, next, it's the next bit. Your parquetry needs polishing. Oh, my parquetry. Oh, that's rather posh. You live, you live in a mansion, don't you, Sam? Uh, I live in a shed. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a streaming shed. There's records everywhere. Yeah, you showed us a little photo earlier, didn't you? A little video. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit bad, isn't it? <laughs> crates and crates of 45. I think we're all, we're all guilty of that. That's the problem. Right. And last but no means least. We are going back to Germany for right. Robert Smith. Exactly. Well, so, what have you got for us? Um, I play my second record I um, recorded for the 45 mix um, that is on a mix cloud. And uh, it's we're going to Japan, I think. It's uh, Betty Chung and a version of Bang Bang. Check it out. Oh. Oh. That's yeah. it. Probably wow. the only, uh, yeah, the only record that. I'm jealous of <laughs> for, from your collection. <laughs> I'm proper of that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I heard that in your mix, and yeah, that is uh, absolutely dope. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you one. I'm not playing it because I've, my decks are back there, but uh, it's nothing. Well, I don't think it's rare, but it's it's something I picked up in a in a charity shop the other day, and it's it's something that most of us probably have, and I, I've been showing it on my stream. So, so this is uh, Ghostbusters. Okay. I think I would do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But uh, hold on, let me get me on there actually, so then you can see. But uh, I was in the, I was in the charity shop, um, and I was looking. and said, "Oh, limited edition pop up sleeve." And any anyone's watching my latest thing, you see. So limited edition pop up sleeve. It comes up with this. Ooh, that's great. I need that. <laughs> Yeah, it's just nice. <laughs> but I need it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a classic thing, we all know. But um, yeah, grown men getting excited about pop-up record sleeves. I mean, that's that's what we've become. That's what we've become. Um, right. Okay. So that was the little competition over and done with. So um, let's have a little vote in the chat. <laughs> let's see what we come up with. So okay, obviously well, you're a pro, can't we? Pardon. Well, the mods do a poll, or is that just too technical for uh, for us new? My, my mod is sideshow mall. I don't know if he knows how to do a poll. Yeah, Molly, Molly knows how to do a poll. Do a poll, sideshow mall. Can you do a poll? Everyone can vote then, and then nobody knows who's voted me out, which is a good okay. thing. <laughs> I'm waiting for sideshow to respond. I can't see him. I bet you he's doing the egg roll to that. He's doing now. an egg roll, isn't he? Yeah, doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, yeah, Chris I should have really organized it. it's not like I've been organizing anything else today, but I, I should have organized the poll for this part of the show. Um, but let's have a look who have we got so 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 far we've got Mark Hype, Robert Smith, one one, Mark, two one, three one, the poll, the poll three two, we've got one for D, three one one. You can vote now, the poll is there. Oh, you can vote now, okay. 
I voted for me. Let's <laughs> vote. <laughs> and you won't you need to right okay if if you haven't voted let's go okay the votes are moving this is exciting television right here this is what twitch is all about <laughs> interactive television that's what it's all about this is the future it is the future yeah yeah can't remember last time i watched terrestrial tv it's gone it's over i'm gonna go for that one Oh, everyone's voting now on their phone, aren't they? Everyone's voting. Everyone's busy. Yeah, too many people chatting. Robert uh, Smith, I'm just too cool for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't. Okay, that's the vote. The votes are in. Mark wins thirty-three percent. Yeah, you should have played that one. <laughs> DJ we know, DJ we know tied with Sam, twenty-two uh, percent. Robert had three, and Funky had one. I think that's because Funky voted for me and i wasn't even in the poll uh, <laughs> i bought you man i mean I, I i need this record give you my my address you need the record yeah so the, so the spanish and the uh Ghostbusters, yeah they're on their way to you okay there, there's, no, there's no prizes uh or maybe there is I, i'll work something out later but yeah mark's the winner that's that was a great tune Dear okay thing. now congrats what mark what we're going to do next um d and sam need to shoot off a little bit early because yes. uh d is next up on the 45 day stream and sam is playing so watch, on a great track what d yeah <laughs> so um d are you set up to show us your decks yeah do you want me just to do just hop it for the moment yeah if you, might... let's start with if you explain what's behind it how the idea came to you and what you yeah sure then you can show us what it does Look, um, low riding and DJing slash turntablism are my two loves. It's kind of what I dedicated uh, my DMC set to uh, last year in 2020. And um, it, it was just a no brainer for me to combine my two loves. So my, my whole sort of concept was combining and paying homage to legends of the DMC from the 80s and 90s because that's what I came up watching. I came up watching the craziest sets, you know, in in the 80s and 90s. And I wanted to pay homage to a lot of the, um, well, some of my favorites, let's say. And so what I did is, you know, used some of the same samples that they did, but then added my extra little twist on top of that. And obviously the body tricks and all that sort of stuff is what I love. So that's what I did. And then in part two, um, in the finals, uh, I basically introduced what i believe is a world first now i know mysterio has been known for doing a bit of a, a hopping turntable but i believe it's a world first to actually have it wired to switches which is what we've done and flick the switches just like you would a 6.4 impala for example which is something that i do have so i am one of the few females that uh, is in a low rider club so i'm i'm in majestics so big ups to all the majestics worldwide i do have i've got the plaque up there um and yeah i've got a 6.4 impala outside so that's just that's me in a nutshell so Indeed. it was a no-brainer to you know so let's have some hopping decks Can you just, just tell us about a few of the people you've had in your low rider Oh, um, a lot actually. So Exhibit was one of the first. That was super dope. He pimped my ride. Um, and then we've had uh, Chauncey Black from Black Street. Who else have I had? The Alcoholics was crazy. That was nuts. Um, on that night, it was a straight out of Compton tour too. So I had Easy E's son in there. I had Dr. Dre's son in there. Spice One. Um, uh, DJ Yiller from NWA. It's just crazy, like just to sort of be sitting side by side with people that I grew up listening to. Like it still gives me, you know, chills. So um, yeah, I've been blessed, honoured, and it's been amazing. There's there's obviously a lot more than that, but that's that's, that's a few of the favourites in a nutshell. So vodka's asking if you've had the Spice Girls in the low rider. No, just Spice One. A little bit on the you know OG West Coast tip right there. <laughs> Right, so do you want to do you want to show us what it can do? Let me see if I can get a closer angle. Mm. Uh, I don't think I've no, I haven't set this up. Of course, I ran out of time and didn't set it up. So basically, you're going to sort of see it in that top view. I don't want to go missing. Can okay? Can you see it going uh, up yeah, and we down? Can see, yeah. So it's basically flicking a switch. 
Oh, my battery's just, I think my battery's about to go now too because it is run on a battery. So you flick the switch, it goes up and down. It's a little hard to see from this angle and it's just gone in terms of the battery. So I'm going to actually get that charged and I'm going to show you properly during my set. Okay, that's cool. I that's cool. I've it's had it on for too long. <clears throat> it's building the anticipation for your set. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Okay, so don't go anywhere, guys. After this is DJ D's set, and you'll be able to see that in, in full effect, and it's, and it's, and it's dope. You can, uh, yeah, it's, it's doing about a half a hop right now because it's, it's out of power. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Uh, you to me, Chris does. I'm going to go to Sam. I'm going to go to you, yeah. What? I'm already getting photographs of a duck on my face. <laughs> <laughs> These are going to go viral now, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. I mean, I over. <laughs> Brilliant. Sam Weeks. Sam now Weeks. your partner, can you change your name on Twitch quite easily? Unfortunately, I can't for another 40-odd um, days because I could when I became partner, so you can put your whole name in front of the emotes instead of it being abbreviated, which obviously okay. helps people click the emotes then they can, they can see where it is, so... So I can't change it for another 40 well, I days, I'm afraid. I can't be Sam Beaks for the day, no. Because I, I can only change it in you, 60 you, days. You've got that name. You can change. You can change, You can get an emote, though, surely. You can make a... Oh, get someone to do a Sam Beaks. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, thanks you can probably good. do that by your set later, can't you? <laughs> I, I can probably do it now. <laughs> and you just refresh and it'll be there. That's the joys. So, Sam, let's just have a quick chat about Twitch then. So, so what, you know, how, how has Twitch changed your DJing career? <laughs> yeah, how? Um, I'm a wedding stroke commercial events DJ by trade. I've done it for years. So um, the 45 thing was always what I did as a kid. So I loved, well, ever since I was little, I've loved playing with little records. And I suppose I'm quite short and quite small, as Mark knows, because I've got drunk on stage with Mark once before. <laughs> um, and uh, I just like playing with little records. So when I went full-time DJing, I would still come home and mess around with 45s. I had no idea, and this is honest, I had no idea about DMCs, no idea about hip-hop, no idea about the 45 scene until about five years ago. I happened to be in Bristol one night, and I stumbled into the lanes and met with Bocca, and he was dropping 45s. I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> He's playing the stuff that I like to play with at home that I think nobody else thinks is cool. And all of a sudden, there's this whole world of 45 spinners like the allergies, and you get to know them going over at watch in Bristol. Bristol's not far from me. And uh, yeah, and this, <laughs> now I'm like <laughs> on Twitch playing 45s and a Twitch partner. It's, it's all a bit mad, really. It's, it's a bit nuts. It's, yeah, I mean, it's... It's amazing. I mean, for me, obviously, you know, I've, I've just been playing bars and, and gigs, and but it's coming across like the 45 Kings group, and then obviously, you know, meeting Mark and, and everyone else. It, it it's niche, but it's still growing. It's it's amazing how how big it's growing. And uh, I think, you know, Sam, you've done it. You know, you've you've arranged for like Hong Kong ping pong and and some of the other DJs who don't normally play 45s, and and they're all quite excited about about playing 45s. I think, I think everyone that, knows the technical yeah, aspect. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard. It's it's not easy to, to spin 45. It's a lot of work. So I think every DJ, even if they play Serato, looks at a 45 DJ and goes, "Do you know what? That's that's that's." Even Mojax is in the chat and he spins 45s because yeah. he loves the. And I, he described it perfectly once, where he said, "You you you can hold one song in your hands, and you've got one song you can put down on it." And there's something about that magic that really works. And then, um, you know, yeah, Bach is a legend. Yes, he is Kev Clark. It makes them look like real DJs. Yes, Voddy. <laughs> That's typical typical Voddy statement that one. But yeah, it, it's hard work, and people respect that. Even if you can car crash and mix on 45s as well, and people let you off because they know how hard it is and that makes it you know it's it's very human way of dj for me but it's it's also a link a link to the past isn't it i mean you know people are using serato tractor and that, that's a very digital that's the thing now but obviously people have been playing 45s for since they came out you know 60s yeah. 50s uh and it's amazing that it harks back and we're still playing and some of us are still playing the actual records that were being played 50, 50, 60 years ago. 
I mean, well, it's, I, I used to get booted out of raves and turn it up with 45s, in the early 90s, because I like the immediacy. It's like bam, bam, bang, and boom, you've got the song. I just, you know, a 15 minute intro, and then, yeah, can we just get the drop? I mean, that, that one I played just now took too long to get to the bit that I wanted everyone to hear. But Wait that's what I, I want immediate, and you get like bang straight away. So, but oh, yeah, yeah I used to look at that funny at raves for playing 45s because. But that's why I've got all that dance stuff on 45, because that's what I bought when I was a kid. I was just weird, but I, I've always been weird. That's, it kind of suits me. <laughs> no comment. Right. Um, I know you guys need to go, so um, I'm going to let you go if that's if that's cool. Uh, yeah, cool. I know you've got a set to do, and then Dee, I know you've got a set to play. Thank you very much, guys, for, for coming on. Catch you all later. And yeah, Dee's D playing straight after, and Sam, you're on eight forty-five. Yes. I was going to say, can you can you give me five? Can I give you five? Well, you need an extra five minutes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to start at five? So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off just to set up, and then um yeah we'll do it. You've got you've got you've got fifteen you've got eighteen minutes. Oh, 15. Oh, sorry. I thought you wanted me to go on straight away. All good. No, no. <laughs> now I'm going to chat to, to Mark and Funky. You've got 18 minutes. You've got 18 or minutes. Plenty. All right, cool. All right, we'll see Dee after this show, and then we'll see Sam back again later this evening. And looking forward to both of your sets. They're going to be dope, I'm sure, as always. Um, one thing before we go, if you haven't checked it out, Sam Twiggs is my special guest on uh, episode 20 of the 45-day radio show. We've done a cosmic disco mix, so... Uh, check that out on the Mixcloud. Don't go on the website. The website's crashing today. I think we've had so many people trying to see it. It's kind of insane. But uh, anyway, right. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys, take you out the street, and uh, we'll see you later. Okay, right. So, Mark, I'm going to come yeah. to you first. All right. Right. So, uh, you're a big Star Wars fan. A bit. <laughs> yeah, can I see that Grogu I see in the background? He, he turns up in uh, some of your sets, doesn't he? Yeah, not today. But uh, we had, like, on the needle drops, the last one, I chose the topic, the theme uh, to Galaxy Quest, all kinds of science fiction. Uh, yeah, I, I put a lot of stars in there, of course. Yeah. Mark, uh, I think today is the day you should show everybody your Star Wars collection with the Everybody wanna see that he got a huge Star yeah, Wars wait. collection right yes, there. We can do this. We can do this. Just give me a minute. I have to wear it, put it in, put this away. I mean, so. today is the day everybody wanna see that. That, that you know. While, while while Mark's getting that ready, I've got. I'm going to show you my little. My little Grogu collection, because obviously I'm a big Star Wars fan. I don't know if you can see over the my right hand shoulder. I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, we have we have fun. a little Yoda competition right here. I'm hey, gonna no. bring the one my mom did for me. Oh, you gonna on. <laughs> hold on a second? Yeah, this is this is this is this is this is it. Can we see that again, Robert? A Grogu oh. USB, amazing. This is how it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only Star Wars uh, merchandise I uh, own. Okay. He looks cool. There's, okay. There's something I need to show you guys. All I right. want everybody to say in the chat if you want the ugly little Yoda or the beautiful little Yoda. Because my mom did one by hand, you know, just watching a picture. And my girlfriend, uh, mom, did another one. So we did a friendly competition with, uh, between our, our moms. So I'm going to yeah. introduce you oh. the beautiful little Yoda. Is this yes. one? Oh. Look so cute is that, bruh? But now I'm going to show you the ugly cousin, okay? Is this guy. <laughs> 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 so, so we did the competition and you know who obviously won my buddy the number one <laughs> you got like, the, like uh, the hat here this open so he, he got he i mean it's a, it's a, a separate part beautiful man i mean <laughs> okay. all right crystals uh you have to put me in with the second Okay. Camera, I just went into the <laughs> oh, broadcast. Yeah, you, okay, okay, cool. Let me add that to the screen. There you go. Let's go, Mark. 
Vamos. Yeah, This right. is what I talk about. That. Oh, okay. Forget the phone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. What town, man? <laughs> Welcome to the museum. <laughs> museum. Yeah. It's too high. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Everyone's gone quiet. Everyone's just in <laughs> Okay, we, 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 Hold on, go, go back, go back. What is that? Is that someone in baseball outfits? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it's the nice. Warriors, isn't it? The Warriors figures. The Warriors, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. I mean. I mean. <laughs> El El Cool J, man. I need that El Cool J. <laughs> uh, public enemy, I've got that. I've got that one. Well, good enough. Here we go back. Great. <laughs> okay. Behind the scenes. Yeah. We love that. Bravo. Cool. Bravo. I'll remove that from It's a good part that you can go in with your phone also on StreamYard. That's, yeah, that's cool, actually. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning more about this TV production. Okay. So. Um, Yeah, I've just got a couple of Grogu's as well to show you. So this this doesn't actually belong to me. It's my wife. Obviously, it's the Aww. same thing I think you have. Grogu. I mean, my mine were ones. Who are... <laughs> Similar, eh? It gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> He's going to take over the show now. Um, and then we have uh, this one. Okay. Shake your head. Okay. Then uh, I think a guy, a friend of my father-in-law's makes these. This is like a, a key ring. A little Yoda. Yoda. I think you can see that. Yoda. And then the last one. So my wife gave me this for Christmas when it was my birthday. She did a cross stitch. Can you see that? Whoa. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. There you go. A DJ... <laughs> A Yoda cross stitch. <laughs> But yeah, we come back to grown men talking about toys. It's a big business, man. It is <laughs> a big business. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is it's in your crazy. house, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm just that some stuff that I like, but uh, <laughs> yes, like if you're watching the toy market, it's crazy what's coming out every every week, basically. Although all those pop up uh, figures, like there's yeah. literally hundreds of them. Uh, I, I, anybody's watching, like, um, Destroys show on Instagram. Yeah. Um, um, show of your gems. Yeah. Uh, there's people in they have like a thousand pop ups. I mean, that's crazy. I don't he know. The, he did it with Cut Chemist, didn't he? And um, Cut Chemist said, I've got something to show you. And he and he lifted up the blanket and it was the full size R2D2, wasn't it? it yeah. Was, yeah. Oh, he had that one. That's insane. Um, he, I mean, he's he's not playing as part of 45 Day on this stream, but he, but he is playing later as part of the Funk Hunters. Um, and I think he's doing a, a one deck with a loop pedal set, I think. So um, obviously watch the 45 Day stream, but I'm sure people double dip so they can jump between the two and see what's going on. Um, right. I'm going to come back to Funky, and then I'll come back to you guys in a minute. Uh, right. Funky. Tell us about this. We've got some. Uh, we've had some 45 kids playing today. We've had uh, DJ JS, who's uh, Jeremiah, who's Mr. Lob's son. My, my daughter's Easy 45 is playing later, and <clears throat> we had the Sunday get down. We, we couldn't play that video, but hopefully it's going to be played later on um, in one of the sets this afternoon or this evening. You've been doing some teaching of, of scratching in a in a school I saw uh, yesterday. Yeah. Tell us about that. Also, your online training and how you've been using, for example, Streamyard to sort of teach people. Uh, yeah. scratching and DJing. Actually, what I do is doing classes on on Streamyard or bueno, whatever in, in in internet. I've been doing it see, for one two years almost. And uh, now I got opportunities to go to the public school and just teach the kids what I do. So I got I bought three uh, Numar to, uh, portable turntables. That I bought them for doing my gigs when whenever I go to a a puff or whatever or, or a disco and they don't have turntables, 
instead to bring in techniques, I, I want to bring just portables and I don't have to carry all these, these uh, turntables, okay? So now I have the opportunity to do it live with the child. That is pretty crazy because they look at me like, what the fuck he, this guy is doing? And, and you have to explain everything because they never seen a record vinyl. They, it's not about 45 or 12 inch. They came uh, on the CD time and most of them, they don't even use, you know, any media for, for music. So yeah, it's just explaining and doing some tricks and and, and hoping uh, new kids come and um, play records and and see what what we are doing in school and they can make it too. It's um yeah, I mean it's amazing. It's all about the the next generation, you know. When yeah. we're all we're all getting older and older, and obviously it's handing it down and and someone to give our records to. I think that's that's the big, biggest Yeah, Yeah, well, I think, uh, I mean, the, the technology is cool, you know, and using Serato, using Lupe, uh, using whatever is, is great, and vinyl is, is good too, you know? So I, I don't think a, a DJ that plays vinyl is better than a DJ that plays digital or anything like that, you know? I mean, there's people who do digital, and they are awesome, and there's people who play records and they are not, Maybe you don't like them as much, you know. So it's not about the format. I mean, it's about the music and the taste and the the soul you put on it, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a selection. You know, it, it's going to come first. You know, you depend yeah, regardless yeah, of what totally. format. You know, if the selection of the tunes isn't there, it's it's just totally. not going to be yeah. fun, is it? Well, I mean, obviously the vinyl got this. Uh, I mean, this is not just playing a song. You know, it's playing a song because uh, it's, it's your song. You know, when you are playing your your music collection, you are playing part of you, your soul, you, you, yourself, because you had to go and spend money on this record and travel with records yeah. all over the place. So when you buy a, a, a record, you mean it. You don't buy a record or whatever. You go to the record store, you listen to them, then you go to your home, to your studio, you listen in your studio, okay, it doesn't sound as good. Sell this shit again, you know, and buy something else. So whatever is in your collection is like, it's totally you, you know. So that, that's the good yeah. part of vinyls, I think. You've spent money on it, and that's key. Yeah. Uh, Robert, I'm going to come to you next. So you've uh, got a, a scratch record out. You've done with DJ Woody. Yes, I did. It's and right I think, here. Am I right? Have you got another one coming out, or partly with uh, on the Dusty Donuts soon as well? Exactly, with uh, the man Mark Hype right here in the chat. Um, so, the, tell, um, us, tell us about those scratch records. Uh, about which one? Uh, the the new one that uh, will come out. Start start with the um, the DJ Woody one. All right. Um, so yeah, actually a year ago. Oh, okay, it's gone. Uh, actually a year ago, um, DJ Woody uh, called me up, and uh, it was I think March April, and uh, he asked me if I could imagine to uh, release a scratch record on Woodwork Records. And um, I was uh, totally surprised because we did not have so much contact. But of course, we, we, we know each other quite a bit. And um, so uh, that was uh, such a big deal for me uh, that he asked me to do that. And uh, actually, he taught me of how to uh, pro program um, or to, to make a scratch skipless um, track and all uh, and so on and uh, yeah i had a couple of uh, samples i always wanted to press on vinyl and uh, people um know some of them know me uh for my scratch technique uh, and using uh, vocal phrases scratches so i was about to make a scratch records with only uh vocal phrases on and um and and, and I, I made some uh, promo videos to have a to show a demonstration of how to use the record for example and um, and also um, combined with an MC, I had a video with Andy Cooper, so and I was filling the gaps uh, with scratch uh, <coughs> phrases, and he was rapping. So it's all for me. It is a live scratch tool, and you can combine it with rappers or other DJs to have a scratch session to have a conversation, right? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean Andy Cooper. I know that probably everyone in this chat loves Andy Cooper. He's such a dope MC. I've followed him, you know, Ugly Duckling and yeah. then now he's had a career. So yeah, to, to have him on board and, and allergies, of course, you know, he does a lot of stuff with it. But yeah, that's cool. And then, and then the new one, what, what have you done with the new one? 
Uh, the new one, we will have uh, two Dusty Donuts uh, beats by the Naughty Animax, produced by him. Uh, such a dope uh, hip-hop classics. And uh, Mark and me, we came together and uh, sought out uh, more um, phrases to cut with. Um, sound effects, uh, vocal phrases. Uh, we have uh, five skipless tracks. We have one intro track, uh, like two-minute ones with uh, several... Uh, type of uh, s samples uh, you can use for your live uh, DJ sets and uh, it's a hell of fun I think and uh, I can't wait uh, that this will come out uh, finally come to life and um, um, Mark I, I don't know like should we announce that th there will be a competition going on as well <laughs> yeah when the record arrives <laughs> exactly <laughs> a so few this weeks is ahead so right, maybe right. in June I don't know <laughs> So under us, uh, there will be something going on and uh, also a friendly competition. People can take place uh, or take part of it. And um, cool. yeah, can't wait for that one. So is that is that the one that you guys filmed in the, in the I think, the runway in the, in the airport or the hangar you went down? And was yeah, it, it was an airport, spin? abandoned airport. Yeah. That, that's, that's a promo video. We have to repost when the record's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been out a while. <laughs> Technical <laughs> problems. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, technical issues always there. Right, um, Mark, I'm going to come to you, um, and then we've got a couple of minutes left before we, we hopefully go to DJ D. We'll wait till she's live. Uh, right, Mark, what I want to ask you about is obviously <laughs> Dusty Donuts and, and Wax on Wednesdays, Needle Drops. I mean, you know, you guys have become a, a, a one-stop TV broadcaster like like we all have, you know, for, for, for 45. So, so Wax on Wednesdays, first. So, so who came up with that idea and, you know, you're up to episode 50, I think, tomorrow, isn't it? Episode 50 tomorrow? We're heading to the 50th episode tomorrow. Mm. Um, yeah, I came up with, like, I, I've seen the verses, one of the very first verses, like the fifth or sixth, which was, like, uh, RZA and DJ Premier. It was pretty awful by sound and everything. They were at the absolute beginning stage, but you see how they grow and how fast they grow. That was kind of crazy to see, but... At this point, they already had like 100,000 viewers on Instagram. I was like, oh, and because they had the really big names already from the start. So because Swiss Beats and Timberland are behind and the whole industry thing. So, but I thought of like, why not doing it for our our little 45 scene and hip hop uh, underground, whatever digger scene. You're doing like, like a friendly, like, you know, like record exchange versus whatever. Each one playing, playing 745s and we're talking about uh, history and then upcoming projects and all that so like yeah and then it started i started the first show with jim like one year ago and then we built up on that first we were on instagram but it was too much hustle to go like with all those technical difficulties in booting out and stuff and then we, uh, luckily i found the stream yard that was the best thing that, that we ever chose to use for for that kind of format uh, it's the interview format but uh, going direct audio in to have like a clean sound so and that's where we are now we had a uh, crazy guest and tomorrow we will talk about uh, the whole forever two three hours just about the last 50 episodes and all the behind the scenes and and stuff what went wrong stuff what went cool and best moments and all that i mean yeah, I, I know. I know. You know, I watch it every week, and it, it, it's a bit like going back in time to to when you had to watch a TV show. You had to be in your house at a certain time yeah, to make sure yeah. you were going to watch it. I mean, obviously, we've all been under lockdown, so it's not been such a problem. But it, it it's and especially because you know because of the music and Twitch copyright and everything else. You know, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. If you miss it, you miss it. So it, it, it's again going back to how things used to be. It's um, a bit, it's yeah. pretty cool, you know. Um, and then so you've got needle drops and also let's just quickly talk. I think Dee's going to go live in a minute. But very quickly, the, the, the 25th anniversary ball that you did, that was yeah. another amazing show. So that was obviously some of that was from a, a venue, wasn't it? You did a live venue. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we did so. a, in the Cassiopeia Club in Berlin and we had a professional streaming team with 4K cams. Like I think we had two professional 4K cams and like five gopros something like that it was a pretty madness so we had a whole team everybody was rapid tested and and uh, we had uh, everything like food delivery uh, booths everything was there it was like a proper 50 people party <laughs> 15 so like 15 people including the streaming team and all the djs do you think that's going to carry on with, uh, I mean, we will see what what's happening next year. The, the one point is that you can make like the, such a lineup payable, right? It's like to like yeah. a real life. 
So that's a, that's a, one of the cool parts that we could do with when season wax needle drops and the birthday ball put uh, such amazing lineups together online mm. for free. But you can even if they all would play for free <laughs> for people with all the flights and hotels and it's it's for that kind of niche almost uh, undoable if you don't have a, like a really huge sponsor that loves you. <laughs> yeah, it's um yeah it's going to be interesting, isn't it? I mean it, it's whether there's uh I'm just kind of telling D to go. Okay. Um, I think I think I, I was talking to Sam about the idea, and I think you mentioned it as well in terms of whether you, whether it's going to be possible and doable to have an event, for example, in Berlin, and then you have right special guest DJ Coco on on the live screen, so he does an exclusive set, and and whether that will oh, work. That maybe maybe yeah, that's things oh. possible, but depending on that the people are because it, it will go back if it's going back to normal, it will be going kind of fast. Yeah, like 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 uh, let's say if everything is possible again, like the whole capacities. And then yeah. it just takes a few months, two, three months, and everything is like not back before. Like by, by feeling it that you want to see the guy live and not just on the screen. And so that's a big difference, I think. That will it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I think we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Right. D is live, so I'm gonna raid over to her. Thank you so much. I'm gonna just set the uh, raid in motion before I say goodbye to you all. Oh no, I can't type the raid. Why do they make it so difficult to get these raids right? Okay, I think we're going. Okay, that's cool. Um, thank you so much for, firstly, your mixes. Thank you for supporting the event. Uh, thank you for coming on the talk show. Thank you for DJing later. You know, you guys are, are all dope. You're all amazing DJs. And like you say, you know, thank you for giving up your time and, and supporting this. You know, this has grown massive this year. Um, and I think it can only get bigger and um Hopefully one day we might have a 45 day event, a 45 day festival, 45 day weekend. Who knows? Who knows where we're, where we're going to go? But, you know, hopefully once we can all travel around and, and everyone's safe, uh, um, we can all meet up in person. You know, if, if, of course, Europe lets us in. I mean, obviously now we're in the UK. We, we, can't, <laughs> we can't get in anywhere. Damn it, Brexit. That's crazy. Exactly. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to remind myself what time you're all on because my times are gone today. Uh, so Funky Chef, you're on uh, after D, uh, and then Robert Smith, you're playing at six o'clock European time, just after myself and my daughter's right. easy forty five. And then Mark, you're on after that, aren't you? So yep. really looking forward to your sets. Thank you so much for coming on, and it's been a been a pleasure. It's been really great chatting to you. Thanks for the Star Wars toys. Well done, Funky. You won the Yoda, the best Star Wars toy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, brother. You <laughs> killed it with the lineup today. Thank you, everybody in the chat. And let's go and see DJ D, the best female DJ I know, basically. Okay, where I think we're I think we're there. The...